Espresso, please. If I'm bothering you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, just uh. Never seen you around here before. Oh, um. I'm. I'm new here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, um, my name. Uh, my name is, uh, Yina. What's your name? Um, my name's Sasha. Oh, Sasha. Pleasure to meet you. Um, may I? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. No problem. So, so new in town or? Kind of, uh, yeah, pretty much. I haven't been really, oh, okay. I haven't really made any friends here. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, what, bring, well, what brings you by here? Yeah. Just going around exploring, discussing, discovering new things. Hmm. I guess then you don't get out much, or...? No, I never got into. But hmm. now I'm mad I had to take the chance, you know? Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> I know the feeling on that. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> just, uh... <laughs> let's just say I had, a I had a long period of time where I was kind of a little, uh... Close-minded in a, in a way, but that's because of uh, something personal that had happened. But about a few years ago, I I met I met a few, few people, and uh, they... Anyway, got me to open up a little bit more about myself, so... And so I was able to at least take a chance, and when I first arri arrived, well, here, got a chance to actually enjoy enjoy the place. I haven't really discovered, but what is this world? Well, oh, you're not from this world, then. I'm from the original planet Earth. I'm from New York. been a very long time since I've been there. <laughs> well, this planet is called Mobius. Pretty, Mobius? pretty much not only just humans. Yeah, pretty much not only just humans, but also, if you can tell, Mobians. So, just walking, talking animals? Yeah, 
uh, some of them are walking, talking animals. They, there's still some, obviously, some still some standard animals that pretty much act like the the usual animals you often see, like you know, birds, cats, dogs, you name it. But mm. and then there's also the Mobians there, and well, <laughs> funny enough, I'm not even from this planet either. Really? You from Earth too? Mm-hmm. I was raised on Earth. Uh, it's a bit of a complicated story, but yeah, when I, when pretty much, let's just say that at a very young age, I lost my memory of who my real family was and found myself on Earth and, well, was taken in by a family and I was great and I was raised there for as long as I can remember, but yeah, for the longest time I thought I was native to Earth. <laughs> but then, but then about two or three years ago, I found out that I was actually not really human, but part fallen angel. That's a fallen angel. Sorry, I haven't really been learning all this stuff. Well, you know, yeah, well, well, you, you should know what angels are, right? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, well, fallen an- well, fallen angels are usually um, technically they're they're just like they're just like the other an- other angels, except they have black wings and they tend and they tend to have come from the underworld or a hell is what people like to call them. But however, like I said, I'm part fallen angel since well, my biological dad's the angel of death. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, but however, even though that yeah, he has his duties. Pretty much all he's doing is just carrying the souls over to the afterlife to be judged. But when he's not doing that, he's uh, being a great A pain in the ass like most dads. <laughs> I wish I have a dad like that. Well, some parents can be a pain in the butt. Even moms can be too. <laughs> My mom's but... been more taking care of me. Huh. So, uh, so you lived with a single parent all your life? It's a little complicated. But the best I could describe it... My mom and dad were divorced due to my dad having a drinking crawl. Oh... Makes sense, makes sense. I was ten years old. Yeah, sorry, sorry about bringing that up. <laughs> uh, it's not, it, it's alright. I'm very over it, so my dad's pretty much dead to me. Mm. Understandable there, so, but. How did you get here, though? To Mobius? To. To put long story short. They. I used to be a scientist. We were working on an experiment. I was testing it. They could pretty much bring you to different realities. And I stumbled upon here by accident. Okay. Hmm. Studying new realities and suddenly makes you stumble over here. Well. Do you at least know- do you at least still remember how to be able to get back? No, I don't really have a place to stay. Hmm. Darn. Huh. Yeah, well... I should be able to at least have some room over at my house, but... Also- but also plus I- I'm currently a club owner as well, where I'm trying to install some, uh... Some I'm trying to at least in, install install some dormitories there as well for some some of my workers. But if you like, but if you like, I can be able. If you like, I could be able to also set up a room there for you as well. Oh no, you shouldn't. I don't want to stress you out over it. Oh no, no, no! It won't be. It won't be. Stre- it won't be stressing at all. <laughs> if any, if anything, the only stress that caused me is only if my friends have a whole lot of chaos going about and need me to help out with them, or if uh, we have a crazy ass drunkard over at the club. But thank, but thank, 
hopefully at least a uh, new security system was able to at least uh I was able to at least tell people to limit your alcohol. <laughs> Rian, if you're offering to give me a place to stay, I mean, I guess I can accept them. Do I have to pay you anything, or...? Oh, oh no, 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 you don't need to. You don't need to pay me anything, because, I mean, especially, hey, you're new here, you're still trying to... You're still, you're still technically in a way trying to at least adjust to the world's best at least, hey, you get have at least have a safe space. And, hey, I'm willing to be able to help provide, provide you with one just as long as, hey, you're comfortable with it. <sighs> I mean, I'm not always told me if I'm on my own. I gotta start somewhere. Sure. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll move in. <laughs> awesome. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I can sometimes be a little clumsy depending upon, well, depending upon the mood of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a clumsy one myself. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but have you uh, discovered anything while you were here? Like, uh, did you get a chance to at least meet, some, meet anybody here yet, or...? Um, no, not really. You're pretty much the first person. Hmm. I'm guessing everybody else inside, uh, inside the cafe are just, uh, doing their own thing then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well... Well, since while you're here, I'll give you a few no notes here while you're here on Mobius, so... Okay. For one, there... Yeah, for one, like I said, we do have humans here, though there is one human called Dr. Robotnik, or Dr. Eggman is what he's more infamously known as. He is a... Yeah, let's just say he's a scientist as well, but not a very good one. Mainly he's trying to look for um, ways to rule the planet. But he, he mm. ends up failing miserably, which, which is kind of surprising for somebody with a high IQ. Is it by a blue hedgehog by any chance? Uh, yeah, there, yeah, we do have a blue hedgehog, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. From which he is also the main hero of the planet. <laughs> I think I've seen it somewhere. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if he runs really fast, don't worry. Do not panic. Panic about it. It just means that he's either doing his own thing or he's out to try and prevent, prevent, uh, well, baddie. From trying to cause chaos on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, also, plus, if you happen to run it, if you happen to see a floating island that is Angel Island, it houses the um, the power of the planet called the Master Emerald. I recommend not to visit there unless you get have permission, because uh, if uh, the Guardian of the Master Emerald Knuckles catches you. He might be asking a whole lot of questions and might get a bit grumpy, too. Um... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you happen to run into any uh, smaller gems that might be running around that emanate uh, energy, those are the Chaos Emeralds. All I can say is if you run into one of those, try it. Try to be careful with them if you start feeling the energy on them. Because if because if your body starts to recognize the power and starts to flow around with it, best at least you have someone with you to make sure that you can balance it out. But if you don't end up using the power on it, just still keep it safe until you run into a Sonic or run into someone, someone trustworthy that you usually uh, guard guards or takes care of the emeralds. Okay. Though, if you do see uh, one of seven people here that said that they are trying to take care of the emerald and they drop it, well, just um, make sure you give the emerald back over to them, but give me a name because those... Oh! <laughs> those are the <laughs> Chaos Emerald holders, and if they and if they drop their emerald, they're being irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the yeah. holders? Uh, the holders are um, pretty pretty much they uh, help the guardian of the planet herself, and it with uh, making sure that at least the planet still stays spinning, but also 
Plus, they also give some of their power over to her, but they also have chaos abilities as well. Um, the holders are uh, Chris the Hedgehog, uh, Sailor Harmony, a Sailor Scout. She's also a Hedgehog. Um, Queen, a Queen A.G. the Muse, uh, Dimensional Alex the Fusion Hog, Chilled the Hedgefox, um, Sarah or Art Sarah the Hedgehog. I recently found out there's more than one Sarah in this multiverse, but anyways. And then also there, and also plus a being from another, from another world called Mitsuhide, he takes the form of a dragon hog. And if uh, you run into Mitsuhide, don't be intimidated by him. He's, uh, well, he's currently the king of the dragons in his world. Alrighty. I guess I can do that. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, but again, yeah, but yeah, again, if uh, they said that they dropped their arm rolled and uh, you hand it back over to them, just grab a name and uh, feel free to let, let me know on that. Or or if you see a spirit of an echidna called to call, feel free to let her know on that. That way, um, at least the at least the guardian of the planet will know and she can yell at them. <laughs> so you're the guardian of, the, of this uh, planet? Um, I didn't really say that, but... Yeah, I am. I'm the Sailor Guardian of the planet. Hmm. Must be a big job for him. Scout. Eh. It is, though at the same time, it does have its ups and downs. Like, pretty much upside, I've been... Obviously, I'm able to still help people, but also still able to do what I usually do around here. Mm -hmm. But the downsides, it... Hey, Usually, when push comes to shove, I really gotta make sure that the planet stays in balance, because one wrong move could affect the whole planet. Nice. <laughs> but, however, whenever I'm on my guardian duties, I'm a sailor scout as well. I go by sailor peace. But whenever I'm just relaxing, I go by Yena. So, do I refer to you as Jenna or Sailor Peace? Well, whichever whichever one that you feel more comfortable with. <laughs> I guess I'll stick to you, if that's okay. Yeah, Besides, that's fine with me. <laughs> sounds like a pretty name. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Yep, that... that it actually also happened to be my birth name as well when I discovered my past and who my biological parents were and well <laughs> I, initially I was a bit hesitant by going by that name to where it developed into a curse but I had help from a friend to well remove it and now I'm actually very comfortable with it that's good Yeah, so, but at least hey, but at least hey, if uh, yeah, you hear, but if you hear some people call me Peace or Sailor Peace, then you know it's somebody that I definitely know pretty close. Okay. Especially uh, Chris, especially Chris the Hedgehog, uh, purple purple Hedgehog, but wears uh, white and cyan clothing. That is uh, my boyfriend. Hmm. That must be nice. Hmm. Yep, he's. Although there are times where I question him, I still love him. But then again, that's how some guys. That's how some guys are. Usually, you, you can live with that. You, you can't live with them. You can't live without him. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, but what about you? Uh, you got a special someone back at home? Um, no, I don't. Hmm. Darn. Yeah, well, but hey, I'm sure, but hey, you still got plenty of time. I mean, you're still quite young enough. <laughs> I am 20 years old. Plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should have seen, you seen how when I first met Alex, uh, he was one of those where he was like, oh, why is everybody I know or all my friends already in a relationship? And he was 17 at the time, and we had to keep letting him know he has plenty of time and not to rush it. <laughs> and then about a year or so later, 
found out that he's dating that he's dating Queen Ag, and so we said, "Hey, we, we t what did we tell you? What, what did we tell you? The right one will come around." There she is. <laughs> <laughs> and even though they're a cute couple, they're also a couple couple of adorable dorks. Hi there, son. There's something like that. When I remember back at high school, I've seen several relationships like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, though, however, you know, however, if you know you have the one, you'll be able to know. But, however, if, obviously, if you do see people, obviously, breaking up, even though they've been together for the longest time, we know it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I've been through breakups. I had to cut it off. Oof. Guess now that you had a bit of bad experiences in the past? Yeah, which... Which, uh, kind of made me realize I'm not into guys. Ah. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to find that beautiful woman one day. <sighs> For me, I... I go, I go both ways, but I'm happy with who, I, who I'm with. Still get an occasion... <laughs> Still get an occasional, um, what, what does Asia call it? Oh yeah, buy heart attack once in a while, whenever I see, whenever I see someone, someone gorgeous, but otherwise, I'm able, I don't, otherwise I'm still able to, I don't least. believe in, I don't believe in those. Tell that, tell that to Asia. She gets them all the time. She even got one around my bio mother. Which is kind of awkward. She sounds yeah, like a weirdo a already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean she's. I mean, hey, she's. Uh, hey, she. She often has a whole lot of positive energy. Usually easy to get along with, but does like to talk a lot. And uh, yeah, soon, but yeah, let's just say that she. Whenever she sees a, go a gorgeous girl, girl, she's just like, I can't help it. All right, until thankfully Alex has to keep her grounded and say, Hey, hey, hey. Rem reminder who you're with and on top of it too when uh, I saw her when I heard her complimenting my mother it was before I even got a chance to even tell her something was my up mother. <laughs> and it, and and then my father threatened to cut her head off <laughs> <laughs> your dad sounds really overprotective <laughs> Yeah, he can be, though. With him being the angel of death and being rather um, old school, he doesn't necessarily approve of who I date, let alone who I'm friends with. Mm, I can, I can relate. Except, yeah, except for well, Mitsuhide, since well, he used to be my teacher in the past, and he's my future brother-in-law. For our the fathers to have to come around sooner or later. Yeah. My mom, my mom was ever protected. You guys, ever yeah. since the incident and everything, I couldn't even go out, and I respected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I can understand if you know when we hit our teenage years, if they're going to be overprotective on who we're going out with. And then to our young adult ones, that's okay. I could be able to get it, but... I'm... Don't be shocked when I say this, but I'm 1,503 years old. I have plenty of life experience to understand what the heck goes on within each and every universe that happens, so... I think I know what I'm getting myself into. And if I need to get out of it, I know what I need to do. <laughs> you look kind of like my age, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I get that a lot, especially because, well, pretty much, pretty much I know people keep saying I look like I'm 20 or 21, even though I'm technically 1,503, but I have the mentality of a 33-year-old. <laughs> oh, I see. Sorry if that sounded a little complicated there. No, it's okay. I've, I studied, uh, mythology. <laughs> Yeah, but so, but yeah, so yeah, that's just 
how, how things work about and whatnot. But also, if you do happen to find a way to trans transcend realities again, if you decide to, you know, try to further your studies around here, uh, make sure you also keep an eye out for other, um, technically other versions or other zones or other other places that are like Mobius because you may run into a few others like uh, Mobius 1984 where well pretty much pretty much Mobius still looks like it's running in, during 1984 um, for much vintage mm -hmm, vintage there's also tech Mobius a little more futuristic but also at the same time still has still has its uh, charm for the modern world um, let's see Oh, yeah, and then there's the Realm of the Five Kingdoms. Be very careful when you enter in there. Just let them know that you know me. Because I'm actually... Because, uh, well, my cousin, or who's like a sister to me, Rosaria, is Queen of the Fox Kingdom there. And I'm technically I'm technically their current princess. Nice. <laughs> yep. It is, it is nice for the title, but uh, as soon as I started Princess Lessons, holy heck, you have no idea how long it took for me to get used to high heels. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very, very heels as it is. Trust me, they could be a pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm mostly used to just wearing flats or, or low heels. And then, some, and then when I had to walk on high heels, I'm like... Can we just switch over to flats, or at least some decor, or at least some dec more decorative shoes? <laughs> yeah, I've been having cramps in my feet for almost a month. I, I, I can relate to that. <laughs> yep, but yeah, I'm used to it. I don't wear them well too much, but uh, <laughs> the lower lower heels are more of my taste and comfort at the same time. At least it helps your feet. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is about where the worlds are there. Oh yeah, there. Also, if you accidentally end up in a world called Moebius, be very careful there. <laughs> Pretty much, it's like Mobius, but the residents there, most of them are made up of the, the of them called Antis, where they're technically the opposite of the people of the mo of the modern Mobius. Oh, okay. I'll be sure mm -hmm. to avoid that place then. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like I said, just at least try to at least be careful there. That's all I'm, I'm say. Because I mean, I met a few. I met a few antis. There's one that's a grade A pain in the butt vortex. But mm -hmm. then there are. A, but however, there are still some other people who are actually pretty calm and legit chill and willing to be friendly with you. All right. And, but yeah, oh, but yeah, and, uh, also, but yeah, and also, plus, if you do run into my dad, if, uh, you see him in Mo Mobian form, he's black, black he hedgehog, has black wings, wears gold armor, and talks in an accent like this. <laughs> but, if you, right. but if you see him in a more, but if you see him in a more humano humanoid state, pretty much the same thing, just more humanoid and t taller. But again, mm -hmm. still a great ape in the butt. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. But, uh, you wanna show me that place you were talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hang on. There we go. But, anyways, but. Alright, anyways, so yeah, let's go ahead and get going here. But. Okay. Thankfully, no one should be at the club, so we should be okay. Alrighty. Oh, oh yeah, um... Let's finally quiet it down. Hmm? Thanks for... helping me. Oh, hey, no problem, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways. Alright. 